Mount Everest is named after Sir George Everest, but he was not the man who discovered the peak, nor the one to measure it. So why was it named after him and who actually measured the peak? This beautiful building overlooking the Dune Valley was the residence and observatory of Sir George Everest, a British military engineer who headed the Great Trigonometrical Survey of India. This ambitious project used tools of trigonometry to map and measure the whole of India for the very first time. In 1831, Everest hired a 19-year-old Indian mathematician named Radhanath Siddhar as a computer, meaning a person who does heavy number crunching. Over the next 20 years, Siddhar rose to the position of chief computer. By then, Everest had retired and the survey had reached the foothills of the Himalayas. Everest's successor, Andrew Waugh, asked Siddhar to start measuring the height of the mountains. Siddhar used data from multiple observations and noted that one peak, Peak 15, stood at 29,000 feet. That made it taller than Kanchenjunga, the tallest peak known till then. Siddhar's calculations were accepted and the official height was announced as 29,002 feet. Now, Peak 15 already had many local names, all challenging to the British tongue. So, Waugh got it renamed after his mentor, Everest, who had led the survey for 20 long years. Everest himself never really sought that honour, and both Everest and Waugh acknowledged Siddhar's contributions. But gradually, he was forgotten over time. The Everest House is now a beautiful cartographic museum that commemorates both Everest and Siddhar. Ironically, neither of them ever set foot on Mount Everest.